today I'm in the workshop again and uh, trying to teach them how to set up violin. Okay, so we have two violins here. I will choose one to do the job. What I do is that I will ask one of these uh, people here, or a student or master, to do the job, and I will do two. So we will do it together, and I mostly will tell them the idea and how to do it. Okay. Uh, the very first thing to set up a violin is set up the pegs. So it's so important. The pegs are in line. They're all in line. Okay. Can you hold it for me? Yes. So the distance. So you should not be like this or twist like this. Okay. This is walk this way and also this way. Same. They should be straight. Okay. So if the hole, some people, the, the original hole is not straight, it's, it's like this, then you have to correct them before you do anything. This is a, the first very important uh, aspect when you set up a pack. The pack should go straight, not like this. Also, not like this, or, 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 or this other way, all should be straight. So this is very, very important, yes. Another very important uh, fact is that we should make this hole, the D string, a little higher. Oh, sorry, sorry, a little lower. D string should go as low as possible, and but not touch the button, okay, not touch the button. If the peg touch the button, then the string is very easy to break. So if the string touch the button between the peg and the the peg hole then it's very easy to break string so just uh, close and also the A string should go as as high as possible but not too very very high then you will you break why I tell you the reason is because uh, the violin made in this uh, shape is very easy for the string to touch the D string peg. I mean the A string. When the A string going to A, and the A string will touch the D string back, is very difficult to tune. Every time you tune your string, in the A string, the D string moves. So it will be very difficult to tune. So the idea is that the four pegs, when you pull a string, the string should not touch each other. The string will be all lined up straight, and don't touch the pegs. I hope I made my, my, my point. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Second thing is you have to check your tools. The rimmer and the peg sh uh, shaver should be perfect match. Should you, you put in, you cannot move at all. Complete, this is very, very good. But this one moves a little bit, see? A little bit. So you can ju adjust the angle because you are going to be in trouble if you use the uh, the peg shaver and the rimmer, if they are not in the same uh, taper, I mean the same angle, then you are going to be in trouble later. So then your pegs will not uh, touch the both holes. Okay, then you have big problems uh, later. So this is very important to adjust your tools perfectly match each other. So how can you do it? to make lift this A string higher. How? Is that every time, see, you have half low teeth, half with teeth. So when you go to this half, you, you pull, you push. Then this half, you lose. So you can go up. The hole will go up, yeah. understand? Yeah. See, if, if you do all the way, it, it can only enlarge the same. But if you do like this one, then you lose this one, you lose, so you will go up. And you always have the look, it is a straight, straight line with others. You always need something here to adjust yourself to see if it's straight. Okay, so this is a small one. You, for a certain degree, you, you change the big one. 
you 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 need to okay every time when you go up the teeth number you have to put a stress you have to do something push. you push then this you do this you go again see when you do this a little bit okay then the hole will go up Even all the pegs, they are the same, but still there are some a little bigger, a little smaller. There are always some little small or little bigger. So you always put the biggest one on the A string. Always put the biggest one on the A string and the smallest one on D string. Okay, the smallest one on D string, so you will not touch the string. The bigger the A string is, it's easier for the string to, to go through. Mm -hmm. This is uh, something very, very practical. Okay, many people don't notice. Okay. Now we're already almost. Then we have to do it very softly, very softly, until can I have a measure, please. A, a not this one, uh, a metal one. The final, I want like a 13 and a half from, from the last here to here, the 13 and a half. But now it's about like a 15. I leave it like this. I stop. Why? Because if you put a peg soap, it will go in more. Okay, peg soap, it will always go one millimeter more. So you, you, you leave it, you have more, you know, you can do it later. It's always good to be a little too bigger than too small. Then you have nothing. Okay. So here I put a little tape on the rim that I know where I am. Okay. Not exactly the same place, I leave a little bit of uh, clearance, so I can do a little bit more, okay, allow me to a little bit more, but I know this is the place, so I can stop. Many people make the hole um, all straight, which is not good. Okay, we we'll make the hole a little bit on this side, not in the middle, on this side. Why? Because it's going in, 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 in. Okay, you see very, very old violin, the peg is already in and the hole is touching here. Right? So in the beginning, we we'll make a little bit this way and or this way. So it's not in the, it's not in the center. Understand? Not not in the center. Uh -huh. Okay? Not in the center, this way. So when we have the peg soap, when the violin get older, pick the older, get smaller, get in, so we still have the whole you have so much to go. Yes. Okay, if you put it in the middle, it will touch in the future. So in the beginning we'll do this. And also here you you put Put a pencil here, you roll. Just roll one circle. Okay? You roll one circle. Okay? All this. Roll one circle. Now, the next is to cut. Is to cut it. Where is the saw? When you have this line, Okay, mm -hmm. you cut straight to the line. Don't need to be like this. Why? Because I actually want it a little, little shorter. I'll tell you the reason later, okay? Now, we just saw this. Always put something down so you don't cut the table. 
or the protector table. Mm. Wow. Then a fire. It will be a fire and the sandpaper. You fire like this. Huh? All round. Then all the angle is round. Yeah? Then you put it in your hands like this. Then you pull the pegs up. And of course, uh, when we do the fine job, you have a data. Very sharp. See, when we do fine job after, we, we always do clean up like this. Eh? Yeah. It's a very good knife you have. Hmm? So always clean up a little bit. Same here. Then when we put the pack in, it will be very clean on this side, both sides. Okay, so you can cut a little shorter. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the new violin, it's okay to leave like this. Leave like this. Uh -huh. You don't have to be all the way down. Okay, you can leave it like this. Why? Because it's going in and in and in and really go out. I, I do one more. Now I let you to do the rest too, okay? You cut this line. Line is here, right? Yes. You don't own the line, but on this line, go like this. I have very good tools. More like a, like Japanese tools, huh? This is not Japanese, but they're almost like a good as a good Japanese Japanese tools. And always do both way. Don't add one way because we don't want to to to. to. Yes. Then we we'll fire it. At the same time you move, huh? You don't do this. You, you move. So make sure it's wrong. See, touch it. It's wrong. Yes. Yeah. It's not straight. Huh? Straight is not good. Then you put the pack soap. Do the rest too. Now we already set up the pegs. Now we drill the holes. The hole of this is 1.5 to 
to 1.8. Okay, uh, I normally have that uh, D string, I make 1.8 mm -hmm. because uh, the dominant strings are very, very thick. Yes. So I make 1.8. Okay, but on E string, 1.5 is okay. Yes. Now we made uh, the holes of uh, the packs. The packs are very good uh, finished today. Okay, so this is the most important of the setting. If the packs is not good, if packs cannot uh, work in smoothly, this violin is not going to sell. Okay, this is the most important thing. When we do this, most important thing is this hole should be going straight or going up a little bit. Never going down like this. Never like this. Even like this, and because the rope is going this way, they could come out. So it goes straight or a little bit down up. Then it will hold. Okay, these are very, very small things, but in the future, it's very uh, important for the violin itself. So, when you have the tool inside, you always have in mind, okay, you go up a little bit, like this angle, mm -hmm. instead of going, going, going this way. You're going this way, just your mind like that. So, just a slightly different, slightly going up this angle, then you your end pin will be very, very safe. Okay? Okay, you always leave a little bit and push in. Mm -hmm. Okay? The final, you push in like this. Okay, then it is set. Okay, then you we get out you, this way you get out. Okay, now sun post. Cut like this, huh? like paper. Okay, you you need a very good life. You cut you know, like this. Cut the angle. Angle like this. Mm -hmm. So the knife should be so good that you can cut like a paper. Like this. Many people use fire. No, never. As a knife. Okay, you need to have this control with the knife to be able to do this job. Okay, then. You have a very clear, clean surface. Yes. yes. Then the lens of the the lens of the sun post. It's very easy. You go from here to the bottom. This is the lens of the sun post. So I measure the the longer one outside. And I cut a little bit longer. You have to cut a little bit longer. It's, it's okay to be a little longer in the beginning rather than too small. Yeah, I need a rougher knife because I, I don't want to damage this knife. No. Then this will not drop. It will not come out uh -huh. before it's always supposed to come out, right? Yes. Now we set the sun post. It's very easy. You turn this way. And be very careful your hand, your this finger have always protect the F hole. Okay? Always people damage the F hole here. Uh -huh. So you, you pull it in, you turn, then you put the hand here to protect. There for hope, okay? Yes. Now the tailpiece. Uh, they use a very good uh, material. This is like this. 
it'll be the same level like here. Not too long, not too short. Okay. Put a tuner only on E string. I need a strings. The height, the height of here is that you can put a business car in and move. That's good enough. Okay, don't need to be too high, don't make it too low. Too low, the violins don't have a grab. Okay, it's too high, it's uh, not comfortable. So, the height is like this. Okay, and also make this going this smoothly. Smoothly, not straight like this. Smoothly. And also, this angle, oh, this is very nicely made. Master made a good, very good job. Okay, here you can see you have no problem. So, this is also very important for violinist when they feel, when they play, they have no worry. Okay, so this, this is a, a good job. So, this is a correct 16. I think I'm going to do the bridge today because well, I had a video in the Greece that I made a video about how to make a bridge. Just set up the bridge, it's finished. Uh, we are very lucky. As you can see, the strings are not touch each other. See the A string? The A string goes straight. Okay? Does not touch D string. So every string is straight which is, we are lucky, okay? Of course, when we make it, uh, I talk about this, this is very important. If the A string touches the D string, uh, we have a big tuning problem, okay? And the master made this very smooth, and this side very smooth. Uh, okay, so this is, will be very easily play, and we have no problem for violinists to touch this part. So this will be the first cry of the baby, okay? the first cry of the baby. Satisfaction. Good job, dude.